Hey guys, in this video we're painting the the coffee mugs. I'm gonna get started, have your canvas out and ready. You're gonna get your paint out on your plate. I like to use the butter knife. I didn't with this, I just squirted it out of my bottle, I was being lazy. But you just scoop out of here, rub it off on the side of your plate, and then you can easily just wipe your butter knife clean and then get your, your next color. So on and so forth. Um, three colors, black, white, red. Pretty basic for this one. I'm gonna get started. I have a few different brushes. Um, probably don't need this big one for the size I'm using. I have the eight by 10. You likely have the 11 by 14, maybe bigger. Not sure. Uh, I'm gonna just get started here and do, I'm gonna get the tablecloth going. So I'm going to start by doing red, just plain red paint. So I have this stripe here, and it's straight up and down at the bottom, and then it angles up onto the table. It's going to paint the whole stripe. Skip this one, do the next. Angles up. Skip this one. Using my small brush. Um, typically, I would use my medium sized brush, but the one I have here at home where I've been painting is just not in good shape. So, the smaller brush is my best option. I'm just gonna go ahead and just fill this in up here. It's gonna get a lot of shadowing so that it doesn't really matter basically going to be black up in this area. I'm skipping this one. Obviously, if you haven't figured it out by now, it's like every other one. We're doing kind of like a, I don't know what you call it, gingham print, not really plaid. It's kind of like buffalo plaid, but it's just red and white. Now we have a stripe that kind of runs this way here. Also getting painted red. Um, I don't really have a sketched in here, but you can go ahead and just kind of put in a little area. and it comes out over here. I'm gonna clean out my brush and paint these white. I'm not gonna stress about getting the red mixed in with the white. It's kind of part of the look. I am cleaning my brush but if I get some red on my edge and it turns pink, that's fine.
this this little bit is really not necessary. It's going to be so dark in there. So we're going to be adding lots of shadowing. We're just getting the basic part down. I'm going to go in and do another coat on my red. Now I'm just going to make a little bit of a pink color, some white, let me get in view here, some white, some red, got this nice bright kind of watermelon bubblegum pink, and I'm just going to kind of go across this pencil line, through the red and through the white. A little bit of it, it's really wet still. I'm just gonna kind of rub a little bit up through here. And then taking some white, kind of smushing it into where I got a little bit of that pink. So this top stripe, that's the white part. It's going to get a little pink kind of smushed around on it. We add a little actual pink in there because it's dried too quickly. It's not wanting to blend. Also going to take a little bit of my pink. just kind of brush a little bit on some of these white squares and then just pick up white with my dirty brush and kind of smush the pink around a little bit so they're not bright bright white and then white And it's not nice, smooth, and perfect. My brush strokes are kind of every which way. I'm going to add some black into my red. So I have a nice dark red color. Under my mugs, I'm brushing that in. I'm just going to go all the way up the edge. So it kind of looks purpley. 
we'll get it looking more black. This whole area in here is gonna be nice and dark. It's kind of sketching it on. let that dry a little bit. I'm going to just take white on my clean brush. It's going to kind of put a little bit more white on the fronts of these that kind of got pretty pink. I'll take a little bit more of my pink color. Very define this little edge. And we need this to dry before we can start getting in there with some black. I'll start up in here because this area is going to be a full on black. So same with little brush. Can use a bigger one probably. So I'm going to get this background area that's behind these mugs. Go ahead and get that painted black. here we get this little background area filled in careful around your handle Do the same on this side. I'm just going to the rim of the cup. Don't forget the little bit inside, inside the handle here. Okay. So now this is dry. I can get right up next to my mugs. So I'm overlapping onto this dark red kind of purpley color, but I'm still leaving a lot of that show. Now I'm going to mix a little bit more black and with my already dark red color. I'm just going to kind of blend the two together so it doesn't just look like a dark line, it looks a little more gradual.
we have nice shadowing under our mugs. They will look better once we get the mugs painted. Right now it looks a little weird. I'm gonna, again, take a little bit more white. Oops. Brush out some black in it. I'll just take a little bit more white on these. Now I'm going to paint my mugs red. And I will use this brush. I'm going to avoid painting the inside. Those will be black. If you're a little sloppy on your edges, it's okay because that black really pretty much hides it. You can't really see the red on top of the black. I will use a smaller brush for up in here and the handle. I got a little sloppy there. That's okay. It's going to be black so I can clean that edge up later. I'm going to blow this dry and do a second coat. Just with my red. Same as before. 
are just a nice thin, even coat of red. And then we'll add a bunch of shadowing and highlights. And then look a lot better once they get more shape and form to them. Right now they're just solid flat. Look kind of goofy. Okay, and I want this to be dry, otherwise it'll be sticky and weird and my other paint won't really adhere well. So I have two shades of dark red. I'm gonna use the lighter of the two. And it's just, it's this one here, and it's just a little black mixed in with red. This one's a lot darker. We're gonna use this one here in the middle. I'm gonna just start on the edge of this mug, and curve it around, just back and forth till I get kind of evenly spread out. Come up under the rim. The inside of this handle. And there's very little paint on my brush at a time. You can always get more, you don't want to gob it on. I'm gonna come down here a little bit more. this and do the same on the other mug and here on this edge spread it out Loop this so it's a little bit curved because the mug is round. Add a little bit more to this, some curved back and forth. to help make the mug look round. And again, just tiny little bits at a time on your brush. Get them all kind of spread out. You can always get more. So I wanna darken up right under here and maybe a little bit around my edges. So I'm gonna use the darker of my two reds. This one's basically black with just a little red in it. I'm gonna come right up under 
my rim. Do it on both. And a little bit on my edge of the cup. Do a little under the handle. On the side of my mug. And then the inside of my mugs, I'm going to paint black. Make sure you don't have any white showing. If you overlap onto the red just a little, that's okay. That way you have a nice, nice clean edge and you don't have like a gap of white. Let's do a little highlighting so we got the dark shadows in. Let's kind of brighten up a few spots. So I don't really want to turn pink so much. Hmm. It's going to be just a very, 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 very dark pink. So a lot of red and just a little bit of white. Put a little bit on the lip. Oh, can't really see that too well. Gotta go a little bit lighter. A little bit more white in. There we go. So a little touch there. A little swoop here. spot in here. It's a little bright spot. And if you want to tone it down, just pick up plain red on your dirty brush and you just put your plain red right on it. It'll help it look a little less pink. I'm just going to take some just plain white, same little brush, and just kind of put it on the edges. And there's a slight curve to my line, to help, and it helps make the, <clears throat> excuse me, make the mug look round. So I'm going to do a little on my handles and then again a little on the lip. So I have this. The hard part is done. Now I just have the background. It's a little backwards from how I normally work. But I thought that would be the easiest way to do it without having to like double up on some steps. I'm just gonna fill in this whole top area with black paint and I will swoop in and blend in a little bit of white. And that's gonna help it kind of soften the black a little bit. And I'll like kind of make it look a little chalkboardy, I guess. I'm just being careful on my edge here, keep that clean.
kind of spreading out any globs. I'm going to blend a little bit of white, so I'll just stick in my dirty brush and a little bit of white paint. And I'm just going to keep working that until it's a dark gray. So I'll add a little bit more black in. Maybe a little bit over here. A little bit of more black. And just back and forth until it's nice and dark. Just so it's just subtle streaks. I'm go up here. Lots of globs on my edges. Turn it around. Let me see. There's a lot of glare right now. I can't really see it. This needs to be nice and dry before we do like the steam rolling off and the worming. So I'm gonna blow it dry. If you don't have a blow dryer, just give it some time. smaller brush, um, bigger canvases, feel free to use a medium sized brush. Just gonna start using a clean dry brush and some white paint. I'll get some squiggles in. So I don't have a ton of paint on my brush. I'm just kind of coating it and then kind of dabbing it off. And I'll start over here and it's gonna come out of the mug. Something like that. Another one that just kind of comes out this way. I want that one to curl a little, maybe. And one more. And over here, might be some little ones. down yet but I guess that's where we're doing it I just like to kind of pretend what I'm doing first and then go in and do it but we're in it so I'm tr gonna try to do one that comes up and around to make it look like a heart we'll see how well I do kind of like a heart some more steam No, it's kind of, I was going to write words up there, but <laughs> I haven't made enough space, so we're going to X-nay that whole idea.
Oh, I'm just kind of getting carried away. Less is more situation, maybe. Alright, <laughs> we're done before I go and ruin it. <clears throat> the one I saw online, it says La Amour, I believe it's French for love, I'm not sure. But if you have room on the top, here I'll show you, I printed it. That's what it looks like. I can't really squeeze mine in without it looking ridiculous. But if you have room, go ahead and write that on there. I'm gonna say we're good as is and sign my name there you have it that one wasn't so bad super cute mm -hmm. great for a coffee bar put a little frame on it and stick it in your kitchen whatever um i love seeing your finished work so please send me photos no one ever does but i'd appreciate it if you did you can send them to my Facebook Messenger. Um, it's at Paint Willy Nilly right on Facebook. You can even post them directly to the wall. I'm pretty sure I have it set where anybody is allowed to post to the wall. Um, you can tag them at, like, tag my Facebook page, Willy Nilly. I don't always see them, though. I don't know why. If I'm tagged, I feel like I should be notified, but I'm not always. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope likely, hopefully, you'll see me in another one. Thanks.